Howdy y'all, Admiral J-Man coming back at you with another in-box model review. Today we're having a look at the German Type 23 U-Boat. Now you might ask, what exactly are the Type 23s? Well, to put it simply, the Type 23s were a very, very late war, late World War II, class of German coastal submarines. They were designed to operate in the relatively shallow waters of the North Sea, the Black Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea, in areas where the larger Type 21 Electro boats were often at risk. Now, these submarines could only carry up to two torpedoes, and they were, but they were still able to remain submerged almost all the time, and were faster than most conventional U-boats and other submarines, thanks to the streamlinings. They had a complement of only 14 to 18 men. Uh, once again, two bow torpedo tubes, no reload, so you only had two torpedoes, so they only had two torpedoes and that was it. They were also relatively light for a submarine, at only 258 tons submerged, 234 tons surfaced. Speed-wise, they could, they could make an impressive 9.79 or 9.7 knots surfaced and 12.5 knots submerged. They also had a very in, a very respectable range of 2,600 nautical miles at 8 knots while surfaced and 194 nautical miles at 4 knots while submerged. They also had a max depth of 590 feet or 180 meters. Now these submarines, for the most part, were commissioned far too late to actually see any meaningful service. However, there were some of the uh, 61 that were completed that did see action and were otherwise actually used. In essence, most of these submarines uh, of these, the six operational Type 21s that were sunk by the Allies, they only ended up sinking a total of 7,392 gross tons. Um, U-23-24, for example, despite being uh, one of the very first to be uh, commissioned and sent out for patrol, was extremely unsuccessful, for example. On the other hand, one of the other more famous ones, or infamous ones, however you put it, is U-2326, which is presented as an option in this kit. U-2326 really did not achieve much during the war. In fact, by the time she was actually ready for service, the war pretty much had ended, and she was surrendered on the 14th of May, 1945. She was eventually transferred to the British as the Type N and redesignated a Type N class submarine and renamed N35. She was also later transferred to France in 1946, but was lost on the 6th of December in diving tests. The wreck has never been found. Of uh, post war, for the most part, these uh, submarines operated in. The, Bun uh, the Bundesmarine, the Volksmarine, the Royal Navy, as mentioned, the French Navy, the Soviet Navy, and for, little, and for a small time, the Royal Norwegian Navy. A very interesting subject matter for this kit, but anyway, on to the actual inbox review. So, first thing, you have the box. The box, of course, depicts a U-2363, leaving a uh, unnamed U-boat pen, 144th scale. Here are the schemes. You get U-2326, U-2322, and up here, U-2360. When you open the box, the first thing you're greeted by is the conning tower. Now, in the kit, you get three different variants for the three different submarines. And at first, it took me a while to actually figure out what the differences are. But for the most part, the differences are in this lip area. This one being the thickest, this one 
slightly less thick and this one almost having no lip. But other than that, the pretty much the exact same structure interior wise and they come together relatively the same. The next thing you find is this sprue. This sprue has parts for your stand, because yes, the submarine does come with a stand. Parts to assemble the conning towers, various um, rudders, the propeller, diving fins, antennae, and various other parts to make the periscopes and masts and whatnot. The biggest sprue in the kit, however, is the hull. The hull comes in two pieces, it's very nicely molded. Um, most of the detail on it is, well, visible here. Nothing really to talk about much on the inside. Relatively simple kit from the looks of it. The next thing in the box is the instructions. The instructions come like this. Standard trumpeter. As for actual instructions, there's really only three instructions. You obviously assemble the hull first. Hull, rudder, propeller, all that other, all the other bits. And then the next three steps are to assemble whichever variant of the conning tower you want. And then the last step is you get the, you put on whatever version of the conning tower and part C23 to lock it in place. Well, in all, pretty simple kit. And the paint schemes are even simpler. Roughly, you just have to deal with medium gray, flat, white, and gold. And the only part that might require a bit of masking is this, the part with the white. Unfortunately, I will say, though, the uh, kit does not come with any decals to put um, the uh, submarine's numbers on the conning tower. And there are various photos that depict the Type 23 U-boats with the numbers on the conning tower. So I will say that is one thing I have to ding the kit on. But overall, it is an awesome kit. It definitely is a very interesting subject. And aside from larger, more expensive versions of this kit in 172nd scale, I got this one for fairly cheap. I paid roughly... Or to roughly 15 bucks for it, 15, 20 bucks, 15, 20 USD for this. It was overall a pretty good buy, and it's definitely a very, very unique kit, unique subject matter, and I think it should be a very interesting build. Anyway, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a good rest of your day.